as one of the three countries that have developed a stealth fighter, along with America and China, Russia had high hopes for the Su-57 and its stealth capabilities. But its ambitions to develop the aircraft were hampered by the realities caused by technical difficulties and budgetary issues, exacerbated by Western sanctions after their invasion of Ukraine. The Su-57 is Russia's fifth-generation multifunctional fighter. It has a supersonic cruising speed, built-in weapons, radio wave absorbing coating, and the latest advanced onboard equipment. Aircraft combat capabilities Not much is known about the capabilities of the Russian Su-57, as the fighter jet only entered service recently. Armament to maintain stealth capabilities. Weapons are stored in two internal armory bays and it is capable of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground strikes as a multi-role fighter. It can be equipped with R-77M air-to-air missiles for striking long-range targets and KH-59 MK-2 cruise missiles for striking ground targets and various other armaments. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said the Su-57 conducted cruise missile tests, believed to be KH-59 MK-2, in Syria in 2018. Sightings in Ukraine so far, there has been no confirmation of Su-57 aircraft sightings in Ukraine but there is speculation that Moscow has used them to attack Ukrainian targets. On November 5th, a telegram channel claimed that Su-57s were spotted over Ukraine's eastern battlefields in the Luhansk region. A British intelligence report in January stated that Russia was almost certainly using Su-57 felons to conduct missions against Ukraine. Russian state media reported in June 2022 that a Su-57 aircraft conducted combat operations over Ukraine and was tasked with identifying and destroying Ukrainian air defense targets. Ukrainian Air Force Colonel Yuri Ionad does not rule out the possibility of Russia using Su-57s against Ukraine, as there is no way to distinguish aircraft on radar. For us, an air target is a mark on the radar, Ionad said in an interview. However, he added that the Russian Air Force has a number of aircraft, including Su-25s and Su-35s, that can carry out similar strikes. There has long been speculation that Russia avoids flying Su-57s in Ukrainian airspace for fear of them being shot down by Ukrainian air defenses, as Russia only has 10 fighter jets and they remain a very valuable asset to its air force. Su-57 fell in development, the Soviet Union began its next-generation fighter program to compete with Western nations in 1979. The program initially started with two projects, the MFI and LFI, which eventually led to the development of the MiG-1.44-1.42, likely the basis of the J-20, China's current stealth fighter, and the Sukhoi Su-47 Burkut, which used a distinctive swept-wing design. However, none of these programs were adopted due to budget constraints after the collapse of the Soviet Union, and the programs were eventually cancelled. Development of the Su-57, under the designation PAC-FA, which stands for Perspective Aviation Complex Frontline Aviation, began in 2001 with an emphasis on replacing the Su-27 flanker and MiG-29 fulcrum used by the Russian Air Force at the time which remains so to this day. It will eventually compete with Western fighter jets, the F-22 Raptors and the F-35 Lightning II. Russia and India held a joint development program for the Su-57 derivative. However, India withdrew from the program in 2018 as the jet did not meet their requirements. 